Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2E0IQJ. So this radio here is the Zygu X6100 or Zygu X6100, however you want to pronounce it. Now I got a message on YouTube saying there's been a software update for the radio. So thanks to the person who messaged me on YouTube saying there was a software update and the software I downloaded was from the 2nd of November. Now to update the firmware or software in this radio, do exactly the same as you would do in a black screen of death video, which I'd done a few months back. If you ever turn the radio on, you get a black screen of death. No need to panic. Just download the firmware, flash it to an SD card or micro SD card, insert it in the radio, make sure it's fired up off the mains of the radio, so if you're a 12 volt supply, turn the radio on and it'll just update itself and be back to normal. When you do the update for this radio, it doesn't remove anything. So if you wide bands it, if you really must, then um, it won't remove the wide banding, it won't remove any channel info, anything like that, anything you've stored, it will just come back as normal. You'll have the updated firmware. So let's fire up the radio. Let's know the power button. And we'll see what we've got, some of the features. Now for a list of all the features, I'll link in the description below where I've downloaded the firmware and you can have a read of the website and it uh, shows you what else this radio can do. One of the things I have done is I've actually fixed the Bluetooth, apparently to keep disconnecting from, let's turn it down a bit, keep disconnecting from a wireless keyboard and mice. I never had that problem because I only connected to Bluetooth for a few seconds, test the keyboard and that worked, and the mouse, yeah, that worked. And uh, after I did that, I come back off it, went back on, and I had the bl black screen of death. If I go to System Settings, which is the one at the bottom here, and I'm going to use the MFK, which is the multifunction key, I'm going to rotate to System Info, and we're going to click it. I did that with the bottom key there, MFK, multifunction key. It says here I've got app version 1.16, which is from November 2nd, 2022, and the base version is set to April 09, I think, um, 9th of April, I think that's when I might have bought the radio actually. I can't remember, I, got, I did get it this year though. Let's go back to exit. You'll see now, if I go exit again, the screen has changed. Now the waterfall display is not full screen anymore. You've got some widgets on the screen now. You've got your time and UTC, universal time. Got your writ, which is like the clarifier. Your filter is now displayed on the screen. Not sure if that was displayed before, but it is on the screen. This, I believe, is your demodulated signal, and this is like an audio oscilloscope on a receive signal and when you transmit as well. Now, if I go into the settings, so if I go to DFL, you'll see there it's got filter one at the bottom here. Let's point to it filter one, filter two, and filter three. Now, you can change it by going filter two. You see there it goes in, and bandwidth is 2,400. Go to filter 3, and bandwidth is now 1,800. Now if I want to set that as my default, I just press on default. Let's uh, see if we can hear what the filter sounds like. I'm going to turn the, the 11 meter radio on. We're going to 10 meters, so it's the present George I'm using. I'm on 28,450, upper sideband. Let's give it some volume, go to filter 1. And we'll see what it sounds like. Oh, it's too, too loud. Let's turn it down a bit. T0 IQJ testing. Let's go down a bit. T0 IQJ testing. This is a filter one. Filter one, T0 IQJ testing. Now I've got no area connected to this radio and I'm a bit close. Um, I have to turn the power down on the other radio. That's filter one. Let's do filter two. T0 IQJ. 2E0 IQJ testing filter 2 radio test filter 2 1 2 3 4 you saw there when I was talking the old audio display there it was going up and down let's try filter number 3 2E0 IQJ 2E0 IQJ testing filter number 3 testing filter number 3 on receive 2E0 IQJ testing Turn that microphone off. There we go. We just tried out the filters. Now, if we want to use a filter, just leave it on filter, say three, and we can just press close. You'll see that and that says filter three. Now, if I go to something else I've discovered, if I go to say radio setting, say two, you'll see here we've got a few settings there. You've got RIT, XIT, SPE, and handle F1, F2. So if I click on RIT, this one here, 
you'll see that the power TX from here, which is 10 watts because I'm on high power because it's plugged into the mains, will go to RIT. And you can use the MFK, the multifunction key, this one here, down the bottom here, to adjust the RIT, and you'll see it change here. See, let's change this, go down to leave on zero. Now, if I go to radio or uh, display settings, you'll see here we've got F, FT span, and I believe that's the zoom or the span for the uh, waterfall display. So, if I click it with the MFK key, you'll see now it's changed to 100k. I can use the MFK key, it goes down 50k, 25k. 12.5k is the lowest it would go, and you'll see here that the green bar has got wider. Now the display is supposed to be blue on the bottom here, but the camera's not picking up for some reason. Let's go back so you can go up. You see there, it's getting narrower. So if I key up on the radio, on the 11 meter rig that's got it on 10 meters. Audio check, one, two, three, four. Audio check one two three 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 four. This is two e zero IQJ testing. Let's go down to fifty wheels actually on. Two e zero IQJ testing. Audio check one two three four. Testing one two three four two e zero IQJ test. Let's go up to hundred. And two e zero IQJ audio test audio test one two three four. There we go. You just seen me zoom in. I think what what that is. A zoom in on the waterfall display. Now this is a quick look at some of the features with this uh, radio. It does a lot more. And I'll link in the description below where I download the software from. You can have a read of the features. But updating it is dead, dead simple. It took me around about two minutes as well updated and ready to go. I didn't lose any of the settings I've done in the radio. So there we are at the full TX there. Show it can be done. Did that and I thought I was going to lose that, but I didn't actually lose it. If you found the video some use not to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, yeah, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching the video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7-3 for now.